Hello everyone, welcome back for day four in our lesson, Our Riches in Christ. Yesterday, we were talking a little bit about how we have been afforded these riches, how we've been blessed with many things from God, and how He is our Heavenly Father, how He is there to provide for our needs, and, and He wants us to come to Him confidently with the things that we need, and He wants us to receive the blessings that He has put in our lives. But not only that, we are called to share these things with others. So today we're going to talk about that a little bit and how that when we understand our place in God's family, we will want to reach others. When we understand what God has done for us, when we really think about the price that was paid, the, the blessings that have been given, the sin that has been covered, the, the grace that's been provided, our lives that have been blessed, we will want to share that with others. That desire comes as the Holy Spirit, as the Holy Ghost reveals Christ to us. The Spirit grants us wisdom, and that wisdom from above leads us to spiritual truths and the knowledge of Christ. The word, of, the word for knowledge used in Ephesians 1.17 is the Greek word epignosis. According to Thaler's Greek lexicon, it means precise and correct knowledge. Therefore, the revelation that comes from God will lead to a deeper understanding of who He is. God's gifts are directly connected to the knowledge of who He is, to the knowledge of Jesus Christ. Obtaining a knowledge of the possessions is not good enough. We have to possess the knowledge of Jesus Christ Himself. The more that we come to know Jesus personally, the more we will possess His attributes and we will you know, possess His inheritance. Relationship is the key. A deeper knowledge of Jesus will deepen our understanding of the riches that we have in Him. The better that we know Jesus, the better our relationship is with Him, the more we're going to understand about Him, the more we're going to understand what He has called us to do, the more we're going to understand what He has blessed us with. And that was why it is important for us to develop our relationship with Him on a daily basis. Our knowledge of Jesus Christ should motivate us to share in God's work of salvation. This insight, this spiritual insight, allows us to identify with God's purpose for the world. The Holy Ghost provides us with the gifts and the abilities needed to fulfill God's promise, to create a family of sons and daughters through whom He will rule His kingdom. God uses the church, that is, the, those who are in Christ, to help rescue lost souls. After being rescued from sin, we are equipped with power to rule. For those of us that have had our spiritual eyes open, though we still only understand part, we can't really fully understand everything. We find ourselves in a unique position of possessing the ability to lead those who are spiritually blind to this great light. So, are we going to allow our riches to increase by putting them to work? Or are we going to bury our riches? God prepared and designed His redemptive work to cause us to do good works. Salvation is God's work alone and not ours. But God's new creation demands good works. These good works are the crowning result of God's salvation in our lives. These good works, if you will, are the fruit of salvation in our lives. They're not the cause of salvation. They are the fruit of, the result of salvation. If the world is ever going to know Jesus Christ as Lord, the church has to carry the gospel to them and preach the word of truth. The church has to preach the truth. Hearing the truth will bring conviction to sinners. Many will repent and receive and believe the gospel. After they repent and believe the gospel, they will be sealed with the Holy Spirit of promise. This is God's method. And the historical accounts of Acts show it to be the means that God uses to convert sinners. He uses us. He uses other sinners that have been saved by grace to reach fellow sinners that need to be saved by grace. He has called us out of that, not just so we can escape it and we can have the joy of escaping you know, the damage of sin and the ultimate penalty of sin, which is death. It's not just about us escaping it. It's about us escaping it realizing it, understanding it, and then using that to help others escape it as well. We are not called to keep these riches all to ourselves. Think about it. Think about being 
you know, adopted into this family that has unlimited wealth, everything, you know, there's, there's joy, there's peace in the home like you have never experienced. And they tell you, hey, share this with anyone that you know. It's unlimited. It's not, you know, it's not for just you. This is for everyone. Would you really keep it to yourself? Or would you go find people that need it? Would you look around and say, hey, I don't know what your situation is like, but this family that I'm in, this, this, this God that has called me, he has peace, he has joy, he has love, he has riches in abundance. And I want to share them with you. I want to share some of what God has done for me with you and see that change happen for you too. I don't want to just keep it all to myself. You know, in this world we live in, you know, we are seeing very quickly that, you know, Christians are looked down upon and, and you know, and truth isn't something that people want to hear, it often seems like. You know, and maybe maybe that ruffles our feathers a little bit. I don't, I don't know, but God's not necessarily calling us to go tell people this is wrong. This is wrong. Your life is wrong. This needs to be fixed. God is calling us to show his love. God is calling us to share what has been done for us. Is it really our calling to go tell that person that no, that thing that you're doing is wrong? Or is it our calling to tell that person, hey, you know, a few years ago, this is what I was messed up in. This is what I was involved in. But then God got a hold of me and this is how he has changed my life. And I'm experiencing love and I'm experiencing peace like I never have before. It's not about us taking that sin and rubbing it in their face. It's about us taking our past sin and saying, this is what God has saved me from. This is the inheritance that I have. God was willing to put all of that aside. God was willing to forget all of that and receive me into his family. And he wants to do the same for you. Church, we are called to love those around us. We are called to be that reflection of Jesus Christ, that, to reflect his love. That person's only choice, the only chance maybe to see God's love might be you. It might be me. That may be their only interaction, their only chance of an interaction with Jesus Christ may be you. Are we going to hold back? Are we going to hold back on unlimited riches? Are we going to hold back on unlimited love and blessing from God? Or are we going to share it with the people around us? Are we going to invite other people into this rich inheritance? I hope that this will prick your heart today as it has mine and it would call you to extend this to others more readily, to not be afraid, to not be shy, to not be whatever it is that keeps us from sharing this, but to break out of our comfort zone, to pick up a spirit of boldness from the spirit that lives inside of us, the Holy Ghost that lives inside of us, and share this gospel, and share this good news, this inheritance with everyone that we meet. I hope that God will use you today to bring this light to the people around you, and I hope that you will join us as we conclude this lesson tomorrow. God bless.